All right, folks, we're getting into the heavy stuff. Is everybody sitting down for this? Because we are about to talk about creating some alignments from scratch. That's right. We don't have anything to begin with except maybe some pre-existing specifications perhaps or some design criteria, some survey data, something like that. But uh, if I need to create some alignments uh, and I don't have any existing geometry, I can draw that geometry on the fly and create an alignment at the same time. So I'm going to show you how to do that in our home tab. I'm going to go to the alignment section. Uh, in the previous segment we created some alignments from some pre-existing objects and in this one we're going to jump right into the alignment creation tools and uh, it's going to come up with a dialog box and ask me uh, some questions uh, similar to what we talked about before uh, the name of the alignment, the type, uh, center line's good. If you want to keep it in a site, sure, go ahead. Uh, there's some other options here as well. I'm just going to uh, set some major and minor labels for now so it's not so cluttered. And I'm going to say, okay, uh, just as a note, if you have any uh, st uh, st station equations or anything that are going to be added in later uh, or you want to station back a bit you can always uh, change the starting station here to something other than zero uh, that's fine as well but you can set that later too if you like I'm gonna say okay and up comes my uh, alignment layout tools and these are all the tools that I would ever need to create an alignment from scratch. So starting off at the beginning, we've got a couple of uh, quick and dirty tools for creating some alignments. And we've got uh, tangent, tangent, no curves, tangent, tangent with curves, and then some curve and spiral settings. So if I just want to lay something in real quick, maybe I've got a few survey points on my screen, and uh, I know the curve radius in between my line work, then I can just go ahead and go into my curve and spiral settings, set uh, what type of curve and spiral I want to use, uh, whether I want to use spirals, curves, my default radius, and uh, the spiral load options as well. So you can set all those up predefined, and when you say okay to that, uh, you'll want to probably go down to the that same drop down and go tangent, tangent with curves. And what's going to happen is it's going to ask you to place some points on your screen. So on the, your command line, it's asking me to specify a start point. So I'm going to pick a point somewhere graphically. You can also type in a set of coordinates if you want. And uh, I can pick a couple of uh, locations to represent uh, my points of intersection and uh, what's going to happen is it's going to lay a curve in between uh, at those at those points of intersections based on my curve settings later and when I'm done with that I hit enter and uh, it'll label that for me uh, there you go and there it is um, and I should have an alignment listed under center line alignments there it is there okay I've got another alignment uh, in this drawing but it's turned off and I'm going to try some of the other tools here. So let's check out uh, some of the more uh, involved type of tools as well. And uh, some of those may be things like uh, maybe you want to start by drawing some fixed, floating, or free lines. And you notice you've got a, a line pull down and you've got a curve pull down. All right. So those are probably going to be your two main go to pull downs when drawing out geometry from scratch. So just as a, a clarification on, on what these terms mean, um, if we take a look at the first section, we've got a whole bunch of fixed options. That means that there's no constraints. If I choose a fixed line, it's going to ask me to pick two points on my drawing and that'll be uh, represent a point of intersection at the beginning and end of that of that line. It's not uh, adjoined to any existing geometry. It's not dependent on any other geometry to define it. I'm going to pick my two points. Floating means it's attached to an existing uh, uh, object or a curve already on my screen and uh, it's constrained only on one end. So the other end is uh, is fixed because it doesn't have a definition. Um, and lastly, we've got free lines. So that means um, it's constrained on both ends. So let's say I had a uh, uh, two curves that were separated, and I click free line. I can place a point at each end of the curve uh, of those curves, and it'll and that line 
the free line will be constrained. It is dependent upon the other two pieces of geometry, in this case curves, to define it. So keep that in mind, and you can always check the help if you can't remember what those two mean. But uh, I'm just going to throw in a fixed line. I'm going to pick a point and maybe another point there, and then hit enter. And uh, away we go. If I want to add in a curve to that, I can go and add in a floating curve because a floating has to be adjoined to one existing object. Okay, so I'm going to go floating curve, and I'm going to, on my command line, it says pick the entity to attach to, and it wants to know the degree of curvature or my radius. So if I have a radius in mind, I can uh, type that in there and uh, hit enter, and it'll ask me, do I want that curve to be greater than 180? or less than 180. So if it's uh, if it's coming around the arc more than 180 degrees then you can go uh, greater than but in most cases it'll be less and it'll draw a curve in then for you and then you can specify the end point. So if you've got some existing geometry notice how I can stretch it out and uh, that uh, that PI point is going to move around and so is the length of my uh, existing tangent there. So you're going to have to pick a, a endpoint somehow and then you can keep on going. Now you've got uh, a floating curve at the end there. If I wanted to, I could add in a uh, floating line if I like. Okay, so I can go a floating line on the end of that object and just uh, keep on moving. If I got an endpoint, I can pick it on the screen or type in a set of coordinates if I like and uh, hit enter. So there's my alignment. If I need to add in a point of intersection, I can go ahead and insert PI, and uh, I'll talk a little bit about that more uh, when we get into the editing alignment section, some of these editing tools, but that's how you can lay out alignment uh, from scratch. Thanks for watching.